this is going to be phenomenal. Corbett versus Spong is a happening. Well, it certainly is. And uh, Spong, supremely confident. Cor Corbett looking to make uh, something special of this one. He's the champ. He's been the champ for a long time. And he's ready to come back and prove it right here tonight. OK, let's check it out, folks. Nathan Corbett and Tyrone Spong. I'm going to win this fight for sure. As soon as the sound of the bell goes, it's on. It's going to be war. It's going to be a real war. I always start at a very high base. I don't come for playing. I just want to fight. No sizing up, nothing. It's going to be boom, best thing. I'm going to kill the guy, man. I'm going to kill him. It's going to be the toughest fight of his whole life. Montego Bay is going to shake. This is the one the entire world has been talking about for a long, long time. Nathan Corbett has been waiting for it. He finally gets his wish here tonight to meet Tyrone Spong in centering. Not under full Muay Thai rules. Tonight's fight will be under modified Thai rules. Knees and no elbows. That was a stipulation that Tyrone's management made. They did not want to fight with elbows. And here he comes. The king of the ring, Tyrone Spong. Born in Paramaribo, Suriname, he moved to the Netherlands in 1990 as a five-year-old. An overall career record outstanding, 83-4-1, 58 knockouts, a 71% KO ratio. Trained by the legendary Lucian Carbine, the man who got Rob Carmen hooked into Muay Thai, also the trainer of the great female fighter Lucia Ryder. You talk about aesthetically one of the most exhilaratingly beautiful fighters to watch, and you talk about Tyrone Spong, let's look at his opponent, the Carnival of Carnage, Nathan Corbett. I've always gone in with the, the attitude to, to knock my opponents out. You know, really training hard, refocused and ready to make it an 09 a massive year. Yes, yes. Tyrone Spong is the Nathan Corbett of Holland. He is the best fighter on that side of the world and I'm the best on this side of the world. So for us two to fight, it's the greatest, you know. I'm only worrying about me. I'm going to be ready. It's on. Carnival of Carnage, Nathan Corbett, here he comes! What an ovation for Nathan Corbett from the Gold Coast, Australia. An imposing 44-2 and one record, 35 knockouts and 80% KO ratio. He comes in tonight on a 14-fight win streak dating back to May 2006, including wins over Kalkli, Leonard Sipilek, Azim Muxataj and Ashwin Belrak. Has only ever had two losses in his career to Paul Slewinski and a KO loss to Alex Roberts. WMC world champion light heavyweight and cruiserweight. And tonight he is looking for another championship belt against the man who he has never met before here in Jamaica, but is his known arch enemy. Let's take a look how they stack up together in the tail of the tape for the Carnage and the King of the Ring. Carnage, six years the older, four centimetres shorter. He weighed in at 92.8. Spong at 93.3, 300 grams over the limit. And the record going the way, of course, of Tyrone Spong. This will also be Tyrone's 100th career fight here tonight. 95, 3 and 1, 67 knockouts. Corbett, 44 and 2, 35 KOs for the Australian. Let's go across for the official introductions to the man that can deliver like no one, our Cedric, the entertainer. Ladies and gentlemen, how you feel? Fight fans, how you feeling? We got some great fights going on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Rizark Production presents five rounds of Muay Thai in the cru super cruiserweight division. This fight is sanctioned by the World Muay Thai Council. The judges at ringside from Thailand. Ten Ong Pong Chang Pa. Peng Chang. Deal with it. And the third man in the ring from Los Angeles, California, Palo Tocha. 
Introducing in the blue corner. He weighed in at 93.3 kilograms. His professional record, 95 wins, three losses, one draw, 67 wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of the Netherlands, please welcome Tyrone, King of the Ring, Spong. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 92.8 kilograms. His professional record, 44 wins, two losses, one no contest, 35 wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of the Gold Coast of Australia, please welcome Nathan the Cornish Corbett. Massive ovation here for Nathan Corbett and for Tyrone Spong. You can cut the atmosphere here in the open air arena by the Caribbean in Montego Bay with a chainsaw. It is absolutely electrifying. This is the blockbuster fight of the night, the one the whole world has been talking about for a long, long time. Both men tremendously gifted, fantastic athletes, full of aggression. Tyrone Spong, one of the greatest counterfighters I have ever seen, particularly with his left hook. Nathan Corbett has those beautiful body shots and is just amped up progression. Have a look at the stare down. Corbett could beat the sun in a staring contest. There is no love lost between these two men. They have said some very harsh words about each other. Tyrone Spong, who did some training with Floyd Mayweather Sr. in the U.S. in 2007. He so impressed Floyd Sr. that Floyd said he'd offer him boxing management. That's how good the hands are of Tyrone Spong. As we all know, Nathan Corbett, his main weapon, the elbows are out, but he's got everything else with power. Here we go, first round, the voice, Michael Chabello. My verbal sparring partner, Mark the Hammer Castanini. Third man in centering, you know him as Paco from the movie Bloodsport. Yes, Polo Tolcha. Tyrone Spong, outside fighting to the lead leg. Corbett returns the favour. Slight height advantage going the way to Corbett. Slight weight advantage going the way to Spong. Spong coming off a good win over Attila Karach at its showtime. He took out Karach by inside thigh kicks. Nathan Corbett, as I said, coming in on a massive 14 fight winning streak dating back to May 2006. There's that left hook of Tyrone Spong. Look out for the counter shots of the Dutch fighter. High right round kick from Tyrone. He used to fight amazingly as a 70 kilo fighter. Absolutely cleaned out the middleweight, super middleweight and light heavyweight divisions across Europe. Well, certainly Corbett's going to have to have his, uh, his guard ironclad. He's got to have his gloves up and he's got to retract his hands off his strikes very quickly because Spong, being that uh, supreme counterfighter, will wait for that right hand to be drawn out and counter it with a left hook if he gets the opportunity. Don't forget, folks, no elbows permitted in this one. We're under modified tie rules as Corbett tries to aggress with the right hand. The way most pundits saw this one is Corbett to knock out Spong inside of two or Spong to win via decision over the five-round duration. They lock up in tango into the clinch. No elbows, of course, as Paco off Bloodsport, Polo Tolcha, also the former coach of Malapet and uh, Koban, the wooden man, breaks both men. This is what a role he had in Bloodsport when he uh, yeah. did that round kick scene, kick for kick with Van Damme. It was uh, one of the first uh, times I was exposed to uh, Muay Thai. And I was doing Kyokushin, and I thought, I've got to have a look at this stuff. Right hand up the tube again from the carnage. Takes an inside fire kick from Spong. Technically, nice. both men are just beautiful to watch. Corbett hooking that right hand nicely. If he gets it around the lead glove of Spong, it may pay some dividends for him. Spong trying to line up the big goodnight Irene off the right hand. Throws it, trying to loop over the top of the left glove of the Carnival of Carnage. Corbett locks him up into the grapple now. Will we see some knees from the Australian? He does to the inside left thigh. Corking to the outside left thigh is Tyrone Spong trying to pull the head down for the big bok choy, the meet and greet. This is certainly uh, Nathan Corbett's biggest challenge of his fight career, without a doubt. Tyrone Spong on the rise, and uh, as we're seeing in centre ring now, technically excellent and strong. Tyrone Spong has made the move into the K1 ranks in recent times. 
Coming off a loss in K1 to Gokan Saki, where he was knocked out at the Yokohama Arena back in March in devastating fashion. Nice tagging right hand there from the carnage. Good high check from Tyrone Spong. Sticks you, out the jab to Spong. I tell you what, uh, Spong's fast, but Gokan Saki's even faster. Oh. End of the first yep. round, we go to the towels. Hammer a hard one to call. I've got it even. Ten points apiece after one. Nothing in that one. Pretty even first round. Um, maybe just the way of Corbett because he did throw knees. Actually, Spong, I don't think, uh, threw any knees off. No, no but we'll, uh, knees yeah, the, we'll, they were down uh, low. So we'll, uh, we'll give it an even, even first round. Okay, ten points apiece, the hammer. And myself have it after one round. How are you scoring, folks? Wherever you're watching us from Montego Bay in Jamaica, Champions of Champions 2, brought to you by Rizark Productions. It's all in the name of charity. We are putting computers in every school in Jamaica through Rizark Productions and all part of the Caribbean Classic Golf Invitational, which our many celebrities are on hand have been playing all week, and they've turned out in numbers here tonight. As we see some of the action as it went down in the first round between Tyrone Spong and Nathan Corbett, it is finally a happening, Hammer. Well, you were saying, Michael, uh, talking to Spong's camp, they actually were taking Nathan pretty lightly, and uh, one gets a feeling after the first round that uh, perhaps they're rethinking uh, that, that that process. But uh, Corbett needs to relax for, for, uh, for mine. I think he's a little tense. He's not as free-flowing as we've seen him in the past. Big occasion fight. Obviously, all the hype. International Kickboxer Magazine and, uh, and the forum, the International Kickboxer Magazine forum, has been absolutely on fire with the topic of this fight and this card. Nathan Corbett coming off a win against the skeletal remains of former WKA super middleweight world champion Sinisa Andriasevic of Croatia in Melbourne, who he knocked out very quickly in the first round with the knee. Tyrone Spong standing in centre ring waiting for well, Corbett. Before. Have a look. Hands That's... on a hip staring into the carnage corner where Richard the Wrecker Walsh gives final instructions and inserts the mouthpiece to the carnage. Here we go. Second round of action unofficially. A drawn first round is how we're seeing it in the fight that is finally a happening. Well that was a little bit of uh, psych psychology in play there from Spong standing in the middle of the ring. Oh double knockdown. High knee from Spong and <laughs> Carnage went to throw the right hand. Both men up ending them Sounds front kick in the midsection from Carnage, turning left hook, looks for the, the head down into the knee. Spong on the front foot, eats a right hand, not enough mustard behind it though. Overhand right from Tyrone Spong. Good shot to the liver from Spong, one of his specialties, as it is, of Nathan Corbett. I'll tell you what, I think uh, Corbett actually thought about throwing an elbow then. He was sort of poised and, and kicked his, uh, his elbow out, ready to chamber and let it roll. Don't forget, Nathan Corbett won the K1 in Scandinavia tournament three opponents in one night wasn't allowed to use the elbows on that occasion he's very proficient at not using the elbows Corbett good jab from Corbett and a kick to the back leg from Spong there's the overhand right counter from Tyrone Spong turning left hook from the Dutch Surinamese fighter body shot just looping in with that jab two from Nathan Corbett Tyrone Spong, good to high forearms guard, takes a leg kick to the outside lead thigh, returns the favour to the inside thigh, curling over the top hand there. And again, Spong with the right hand. This the big, the big kibosh, the big kibosh. I told you the counter fight. I told you the counter fight. Nathan Corbin in a daze here on one knee. Paolo Touch is going to count him out. Corbin's out. No, he makes it. He barely makes the count. I told you the counter fighting of Spong. Corbett in trouble. A long way to go in this round. There it is again. Corbett's still not all there. Tyrone Spong's got 1 minute 15 remaining in this round. A solid knockdown by, by Spong. Corbett showing a lot of heart to come back. Step up knee from Spong. Tyrone Spong, the overhand right, the counter fighting finesse of Tyrone. Look at him cut off the ring as Tyrone Spong. Well, less than a minute to go in this one. Will Corbett be able to see out the round? Spong. Never have the Floyd Mayweather senior trained up in the USA. As I said earlier, he wanted to take Tyrone into pro boxing. Well, this, Corbett needs to clinch up now. He doesn't want to be at that hand range. He wants to shut him down, throw some punches, clinch up, and uh, tick this round down. Spong unfazed, comes forward again, gloves up around his temple now as Carnage moves in with a knee to the upper left rib cage. Spong ties him up. Paolo Tocha separates both men. Double jab from the Carnage, just trying to probe through the guard of Tyrone Spong. 
Spong will want to go to the ribs, maybe dig to the liver, and then fire the right hand over the top. I'll tell you Final what, 10 seconds of the round, Hammer. Spong, surprisingly, hasn't unleashed the way I thought he would. I know from Spong. I didn't think Tyrone would unleash Hammer. As I said, I thought it was going to be Corbett to knock him out inside had, the first two. I think or he had an opportunity. I thought he had an opportunity there, especially after uh, Corbett was rattled. But uh, Spong perhaps is... Uh, has gonna well may well pay uh, the ultimate price. He did let uh, Nathan off there. Hammer, mad respect though for Nathan Corbett. Oh, 100%. There are not many people that 100%. get up from a clean shot from Tyrone was, Spock. You know what? That was all smart though. That was all experience. He didn't get up. He didn't stand and wobble all over. He stayed down on one knee like a true pro. Took the count right to the limit. And then fought a very clever fight after that. And a big heart from the Aussie, Nathan Corbett. One minute and 45 remaining in the round is where the knockdown came. There was almost a knockdown off the knee from Tyrone Spong. But at one minute 45 remaining, it was the knockdown there that counts at right hand. And it was a delayed response. You've seen the glancing, the overhand right. Caught him on the side of the head. He stumbled. He staggered. He stayed upright, and then he met the canvas. But uh, certainly it was a bit of a delayed resp- response from, uh, from Nathan Corbett, the carnage. Rallied back, rallied back like the true champion he is, however. Hammer, as I said, it's been so many years in the making so far. Is it everything you expected or a whole lot more or a whole lot less? Well, this is the ultimate test for the carnage. This is, you know, he's sat on the, on the top of the tree for so long. And he's, you know, in my eyes, he's still there. He's still... Uh, it got so much class and so much uh, training intensity. Um, but Tyrone Spong has had a lot of experience in Europe. Of course, Holland, the hardest Muay Thai country in the world outside Thailand. And, Taurus, and the hardest in the heavier exactly. weights. There is, in the heavier weights, you want to be a good Muay Thai fighter in the heavyweight, you have to be in Holland. As we said, 100 career fights here tonight for Tyrone Spong. The man is a demigod across Europe, folks. In Holland, he is absolutely revered as carnage is in Australia. And the Oceania region, the whole the whole Oceania exactly. region. Exactly. We are ready. A 10 8 oh. round in the second for Tyrone Spong. Has him ahead 2018 on our scorecards here. Now, King of King Spong, the carnival of carnage, Nathan Corbett, Michael Chevalier, oh. has a nice front kick off the lead leg from oh. Tyrone Spong. He's timing, his anticipation is just succulent. Good left hand from Carnage. Spong on the front foot again. Interest, interesting to see that uh, Carnage actually swi- switched into uh, Southpaw. So he's gone from Orthodox to Southpaw and switching, so he's, uh, he's throwing in the switch hitting now, Carnage, in an attempt to confound the, uh, the attacks of, of Spong. Spong still on the front foot. It's usually the way we're used to in Australia seeing Nathan Corbett being the aggressor. Let's now look at this as well. Nathan Corbett has been... Oh! The big kibosh! The big kibosh! The big kibosh! Spong is down! It's over! It is over! He's not going to get up from this! Surely he's not going to get up! Paolo Tocha counts him! Spong is rocked! On rubber legs! Can he go on? Can he go on? Have a look at Can this! Can he go on? Have a look at this! It's, it's over. over! It's over! It's all over! Oh, what's Carnage doing? What is Carnage doing after Polo Totch away at all? Bit of confusion there, bit of confusion. Oh, that's just terrible sportsmanship. No, I'm sorry. Now, Carnage looks like he wants to go Lucian Carbine. What is Carnage thinking? Seriously bad sportsmanship. Well, it wasn't actually Lucian Carbine. It was a Spong's uh, manager who, uh, who issued the challenge. And Carnage was uh, certainly he's up for it. up to Lucian Carbine. No, now, Carbine, Carbine got in between and him and the manager. And now let us know who's in coming down, Lucian Carbine. Well, uh, emotions right on the surface for this one. No, no. And, uh, Paolo, no. and still, no, no, still Corbett. Is shouting out. Okay, what a no, controversy no, no, here at Century. Let's look out. at it this way, folks. No doubt about it. Carnage knocked out Tyrone Spock. But the events that he's followed out. that will be debated for a long, long time. I'll tell you what, you, you, let's get back to the fight action because that's what it's all about. The other stuff's just rubbish, in my opinion. So, what I'm seeing here is Carnage coming back from a solid knockdown and he put a fair income solid knockdown right on Spong. Let's have a look. That was just beautiful stuff from the Carnage. There, there it is. It is. And, he, and it was, I think it was all due to the switching. Carnage switched from Orthodox to Southpaw, and it totally, it totally caught Spong unaware. As I called it in the round, he switched stance, and Spong was a little bit bemused by how to handle that. And while he was still guessing, Carnage took full advantage Hammer. of it. That's clever. That's Let's smart. Have a look now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Paolo Tolcher talking to Spong, saying, you're not okay to go on. Spong saying, I am. He waves it off clearly in front of Carnage. 
no. and just unsp- that is no, no, just that's Michael. That hammer. Was, he you have a look it. at you have a look at where where Parla was. The way he waved his hands, his hands were too low, and it could have looked like from Carnage's side that he was saying, "Let's go," and and putting his hands together hammer. for them to fight to again. Me, that definitely looked like Paolo Tocha waving his hands, saying, "It's all over." Well, we'll agree to disagree. And, I want to uh, have a look at it again. I want to see Look, look, just have a look on camera now. Paolo's hands were not high enough when he waved it on. He didn't wave it off up high. He waved it off down low, and that was where the confusion is. So if anything is to be said here, it was that the fight was not waved off correctly. And, and now let me finish, and he wasn't facing carnage at the time. He positioned himself wrong as the centre referee, and that's where the confusion Hammer, started. Even more he lost so control. Though, even more so, he lost if he control. was saying recommence the fight, that's you've got right. to wait till the referee turns to you and uh, recommences Michael, the fight. Michael, Michael, I'm a fighter. I've been a fighter. You've not been a fighter. Let me tell you, my trainer always said to me, unless they stop you, you keep going. As a fighter, you're in there. This is not This is not 100 bucks. This is not 200 bucks. This is a, this is a goddamn world title you're fighting for here. You know what? Give me a chance at a world title. I'll take anyone's head off. You've got to really be in control in centre ring. You and know? I'm not denying the fact. We've just seen a glorious knockout and another Australian world championship here for Nathan the Carnival of Carnage Corbett. It was absolutely brilliant. It is history uh. in the making. The follow-up, though, will be debated. Really we are both seeing it completely different. Count. But I still say, Paolo Tocha waved his hands, and even if Carnage didn't see it, Carnage should have waited for the referee the, to recommence the fight. Not agree. just no. jump on top of Tyra. Michael, you can, take, you, can take, you can take the high ground, but I don't agree. I think it was a bit of confusion, and that's that's all it is. Everyone is Everyone's very emotional at the moment, but thinking it through, OK, Carnage didn't do the right thing, but the, he's, he... In his mind, Paolo had his back too much position to him. He should have had Corbett in his eyesight. He didn't. He was facing, he was facing uh, Spong. And in, in Paolo's defence, he was probably facing Spong in, in uh, an attempt maybe to catch him if he fell down again. Because in his mind, he was probably thinking Spong was not all there. So he was tro- probably torn a little bit, but his back was facing Corbett. Corbett did take advantage of it, rush a bit forward. Perhaps he shouldn't have, but that's just the way it goes. It's a fight game. These guys are in there fighting, you know what I mean? They're not they're not in there playing, you know, chess or, or tiddlywinks. There is they're in there trying to take their head off. Well, circling the ring because... Raymond, the manager of Tyrone Spong, is just arguing vehemently here with the officials. Uh, Raymond's carrying on. In a minute, I'm going to go down there and, and have a word with Raymond myself. You know, that's ridiculous. You can hype it up. Calm it down. Just say it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Sort it out later if you want to have a rematch. But, you know, these guys ringside, they're all heroes. Get in, put the shorts on, have a fight. Don't try and amp up, amp up stuff from the outside of the ring. That's absolute garbage. He's welcome to come down to my gym and put the gloves on any time. I'll, I'll, I'll lock the door and then he can have a, and then he can have a fair income fight. Don't, don't come here in front of all these people. And try, he's instigating. He's still instigating. Don't instigate. Hammer, are you telling me, though, if the, the shoe was on the other foot, that Richard Walsh wouldn't be going irate? Sure, right but, you know, of course. exactly. But let's let's keep things in perspective. This is fighting. It's a, it was a most high-profile fight of the night. Everyone's right on the edge of their seat, as I am. Of course, you know, of as course. As we are. As and, we, you you know. can feel the emotion so running through us here I'm tonight. I'm like, you know, he's, he's been knocked down in the first round. You know, there's been instances where fighters have been kicked through the ropes. In the earlier fight... We saw, uh, we saw a fighter get hit when he was ha- halfway through the ropes. That's not sportsman-like behaviour either. And as a fighter, you're in there and the centre referee has to be in control. Hammer, you know? in your opinion, was that sportsman-like behaviour from Nathan Corbett? He was amped. And perhaps no, it shouldn't, he yes shouldn't have done no. it. Was it sportsman-like behaviour from think, Nathan Corbett? I think it was a misunderstanding. I think, I think it was a misunderstanding. Fair enough. And then I think everyone on the outside of the ring, in particular Spong's manager, has got in... And want to have a crack now? He was he was already saying stuff at the at the weigh-in yesterday, and he's just he's a little bit uh, charged up, a little bit hyped up. He wants to look after his boy, and that's commendable. But well, you know, and you're Raymond's also, doing his you're, job at the end of the day. And mate, you, know, you can take it 100%. both ways. But Raymond manages some of the greatest fighters in the world. He's doing his job. Good Richard on Walsh would do the exact same thing if the shoe was on the other foot, sure, so to speak. One hundred percent. Let's take nothing away again 100%. from the fact that folks. 100%. Nathan Corbett has knocked out Tyrone Spong. Nathan Corbett is the world champion after all the talk. Cedric the Entertainer now. Let's go across to you. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give both of these fighters a round of applause. Let's give both of these fighters some love. Show them some love. How you feel, ladies and gentlemen? 
What do you think? We've been to the scorecards, and ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a very serious situation. Due to the injury, due to the injury of the fighter, this fight has been called a no contest. Oh, they oh. have a no contest. Do we want to see a rematch okay. next year? Let's go, man. Do we want to see them go at it again? We want a clear cut winner. Let's give both of these fighters a big round of applause. Show some love. Show some love. What an awesome night of entertainment and fight. Paula Tonchuk waved it off. Over. Thank you so much. Nathan Corbett's a world champion. Nathan Corbett's a world champion. Exactly. You know, and the rest of it can go to hell. I just, you know, that's absolute ridiculous. Well, I really want to hear what both fighters are going to say here. What? This is just incredible scenes, folks. As Cedric the Entertainer just informed us, it is a no contest after Corbett clearly knocked out. Knocked out Tyron Spunk, taking nothing away that the ridiculous, epic, ridiculous antics that followed afterwards were so controversial, but fact is he knocked him out. Let's have a look again. This, folks, is a knockout. There it is. There it is. You're he out. was down. The You're count out. was put now in. Watch. Paula Totcher counts him. Tyrone's going to stand up. His legs are going to do the chicken dance. Paula Totcher's going to talk to him. Tyrone's saying, I want to go on, as every fighter does. As every fighter does, but Tyrone's not able to go on. Rubbish. Absolutely okay. rubbish. We're going to go now in centre ring. It's all happening. Let's go. Paul Lazenby's in centre ring with Nathan Corbett. First of all, over to you, Paul. Nathan Corbett, uh, if I could just get your attention for a second. Um, obviously, a very controversial ending to what was a spectacular come-from-behind performance. Uh, why don't you take us through how the very end of that fight played out and give us your angle on it. Look, you know, the, the bottom line is it was, it was such a close fight. Tyron got me down in the, in the second round with a good knee. I was a little bit rattled, got up, fought on, changed my game plan, went to Southpaw, felt comfortable there. Caught him with a nice shot. When he went down for 10, I thought he got up, he was okay. The referee turned like that, and I believe that he was, uh, it was to, to fight, so I jumped on him. I um, I'm, didn't definitely do not fight dirty, and I didn't jump on him believing that it wasn't uh, legit. You just, it's okay. uh, Tyrone, unfortunate way for a fight like this to end. Would you be willing to step into the ring with Nathan again and give us a repeat of what was a spectacular performance from both of you guys? Yes, for sure, for sure. Uh, awesome fighter, good fighter. I, um, I broke my hand in the, in the first round. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, too bad for me. So I couldn't do... Uh, everything I wanted to do, you know, but uh, he's a great fighter, and uh, let's do it over, you know. i got to say one thing. We can see the sparks flying. There was obviously raw feelings coming into this fight, which is what makes a great fight. This kind of sportsmanship both of you gentlemen are showing right now is what makes Muay Thai the greatest sport, and I cannot wait personally, and I know these people cannot wait to see you guys lock up again. Gentlemen, thank you for a great fight. Let's please do it again very soon. Back to you, Michael. Well, how about that? Thank you, Paul.